In this video, I'm going to be training exactly like how Taylor Swift did in preparation for her Eras tour. Yeah. Welcome to the Eras tour! <laughs> so I've done a bit of digging around online and I've tried to find as best as I can exactly what she did to prepare for her Eras tour, which was a three and a half hour long show that she does many, many times. I think we're past the hundredth show as I'm recording this. So this is what I found. So she said, every day I would run on the treadmill, singing the entire set list out loud. She stopped drinking around this time and she also ate a balanced diet and didn't restrict herself, which we love to see. She then rewards herself with a dead day, which is essentially where she sits in bed all day and doesn't leave other than to eat. And this is in between the shows. So I found my Eras Tour setlist playlist and now I need to go and get this run done. The length of the playlist is 2 hours and 54 minutes so I'm expecting to do just over a half marathon. If you're new to this channel this is the first video that you've seen. Hello I'm Emily, I'm a slower runner and I talk about the joys of running slowly no matter what the pace. So let's get into this just under 3 hour run. One, two, three, I've got the playlist in my hands. I don't know how far I'm going to be able to go <laughs> because I've obviously not done this distance since the marathon which was two months ago now but I have the playlist. Starting off with the lover era of course. Not my favourite one to be honest uh, but I can't wait for cruel summer. I wish it was towards the end though because I feel like I'm going to need that for the final push but yeah let's go. Just started her UK leg very exciting, I know. I think she's just done two nights in Edinburgh. I've got tickets to the August London show. Well, one of them, I think there's like four. And I'm so excited. Bit good that I have to wait for another couple of months. And everyone is enjoying her now. <laughs> but what better time to film this when she was literally performing these songs last night in Scotland. Guys, filming in public gives me the absolute ick. People look at you like, what's that bitch doing? I'm just running the Taylor Swift set list, okay? Mind your damn business. <laughs> Currently on the man. Very good running song. What's your favourite Taylor Swift song to run to? Let me know. The saddest part about this is this video is all about Taylor Swift, her music, her workouts. And <laughs> I'm not going to be able to play any of the music because ops copyright. So any music that you hear over this video, use your imagination <laughs> and pretend it's Taylor Swift. <laughs> I'm coming up to what, almost 4k in. I'm running for 25 minutes. Definitely started off too fast, but what's new? So apparently, when I was reading about uh, researching Taylor Swift's workout plan for the Eras Tour, she runs on a treadmill to her set list all the way through. I think she does it like multiple times a week as well, maybe every day in prep. Don't quote me on that. She runs fast for fast songs, slower for the more chill songs. And... A lot of artists, when they're prepping for shows or tour, they will sing on the treadmill as they're like full on sprinting. So these, like pop stars, you know, they're like athletes, it's crazy what they put their bodies through to get to, to perform and have to do that many tours. Taylor's on like what, over 100 shows now? Uh, and she's touring until the end of the year, I think. Oh, so yeah, very inspirational. All right, we're in the red era. Oh, morning, just under 40 minutes. Starting to eat, having fun. This is a very good way to listen to some of your favourite albums and also exercise. Obviously a very extreme version, like literally after three hours, so. Reputation era. You know what, I've been sleeping on this one because some of these songs are actual bops. <laughs> I didn't really like this. Well, it wasn't my favourite album when it came out, but it's very, very good to run to. I'm just running through Bicey Park, I think. I don't really know. I am. 
about an hour and fifteen in running way too fast. For me anyway. And uh coming up to ten K soon. Well well into the reputation era and you know what? I was sleeping on it because it's the best songs to run to and I won't hear any different now. Um uh how how far have I been running? An hour and 24 minutes in. Just getting some more food out of my back. We're 11k in. I am almost at the a very important destination of this run. Into folklore now, which is good, although I would have preferred something a bit more upbeat. <laughs> but I love this album so much. Alright, so I teased I was running somewhere. Uh, before I show you where I am, I am about an hour and 40 minutes in. Uh, how far have we gone? My Strava and my watch are saying different things. But I'm not pausing my Strava. I am 13 and a half K in, and I am at the Black Dog Pub. If you know, you know. So, oh, me by the way. The Black Dog Pub in Vauxhall, which is apparently uh, the song Black Dog is about that pub, according to this pub. <laughs> I'm sure there's multiple black dogs in London. I don't actually know. Um, I thought it was going to be really busy because I feel like there was loads of keys and stuff, but maybe it's not open yet. Oh, yeah, it's not open. It's literally 10 to 11. <laughs> That'll be why. Um, but yeah, this marks the halfway point. I'm probably going to have a bit of food now, to be honest. I've got a little trek bar with me, which is technically a protein bar, which is not ideal, but it's better than nothing after running for uh, an hour and 40 minutes. So I'm going to have my little snack and then I'll be off on the road again. I met you in the summer. Tell me you're an idiot without telling me you're an idiot. I basically recorded this whole run with my thumb over the camera, <laughs> which is why I've put subtitles on throughout, so I'm really sorry about that. But basically, this was all unusable, um, but I was just saying how much I was enjoying <laughs> running the set list. I'm on the Tortured Poets era this minute, and I was just saying that I'm having so much fun that I don't even care that there's people watching me, you know, filming myself talking about Taylor Swift in a very busy part of London. So yeah, that was that. <laughs> so the last era, just midnight, and we've got five songs left. And then, the Taylor Swift, nearest to us that left, train like Taylor. <laughs> and you know what, I've had a good time doing it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I did it. Uh, 2 hours 55 minutes, 19 seconds, 7.43 pace, 22.7k and now I've just got myself a line bike and I'm going to line bike home from here just because if I were to walk from here it would take me a while and my legs are super sore and I'm not running any further than Miss Swift says that I need to run. So thank you for joining me on this uh, jog around london it's today fun. definitely recommend it especially if you're long distance training if you've got a marathon or an ultra or anything coming up definitely give it a go um it makes like that was the fastest three hours well i mean it wasn't my fastest three hours i don't think but it felt like the fastest three hours of running that i've ever done um i think just solely based on the fact that i had like a great playlist all the way through so yeah although it was a challenge um it was a fun one and i really enjoyed it um and yeah let me know if you're gonna give it a try as well guys i did it i know this was a challenge and i still wanted to make it fun because challenges can be fun which is why i chose to run around london and i'm so glad that i did because i honestly don't know how she does this on a treadmill so often i also don't understand how she would do that every day she's like an actual athlete just like that thinking like running for up to three hours in preparation and round of applause for her because 
that would be tough. <laughs> that would be really, really tough. Overall, I really enjoyed the run. I thought it was so much fun. I would highly recommend doing it if you've got a long distance run coming up, like are you training for maybe a marathon or a half marathon and you really need that extra oomph, that push to get you through the distance because being outside for three hours is really, really hard and I think it's fine to try and make it fun for yourself. So if you're a Taylor Swift fan, definitely get that eras tour set list and even if you don't get all the way through even if you just make it through a few eras it's honestly a really good time and it just makes you appreciate how many good songs that she has and I'm really really excited now to actually go and see that with a drink in my hand <laughs> in August and that was it for this video I really hope that you enjoyed it if there are any other challenges that you'd like to see me take on as a slower runner definitely let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video goodbye